hello guys welcome to this youtube channel i'm sure you profit today i'm going to show you how you can root your infinix note 8i x 683 device i'm just going to go to my settings and show you that my device is infinix note 8i x 683 android version 10 and xos version v7 and the most important thing here is the build number as you can see here my build number is x683 then a lot of numbers below here but then you can see here this uh, v332 i hope you guys can see um one second yeah so here you can see this v332 this on the build, on the build number this is a very important thing that uh, your build number should be below v332 if it is not below and you keep following this technique then there is a high chance that your uh, wi-fi and bluetooth will not work after the routing process is completed okay so um, for being able to root this way you will have to unlock your bootloader first um, and okay just in case your build version is v332 is not 332 i can also provide a tutorial for uh, the uh, the devices that are not v332 and how to make them v332 uh, for that i will just uh, make a separate tutorial if you need it uh, just comment down below and i will just make another tutorial on it okay so um uh, leave that so make sure that your uh, build number is v332 after that you need to make sure that uh, you have your bootloader unlocked i'm just gonna okay so for checking your bootloader unlocked or not you need to go here tap on the build number a few times and it's gonna say you're a developer then go uh, scroll down and go to system and then here is a developer options go inside and then you're gonna see that this oem unlocking is checked or not if it is checked for you then you can know that your bootloader is unlocked so if your bootloader is un not unlocked then you will need to unlock it yourself or if you can't unlock it you can just ask for a separate video tutorial i'll just uh, give another video tutorial on how to unlock the oem because these are very basic things so if you don't know how to do them then uh, i guess you will have to leave routing it because uh, routing is a very risky process and it can also break your device and you should know how to survive a break and yeah then after uh, making sure your oem is unlocked and the build version matches your build version you can just check the usb debugging mode well uh, i'm also going to show you one thing that my device is already rooted uh, agree and one second okay i'm just gonna verify root you can see that my magisk is giving me the grant uh, uh, access I'm just gonna click grant and you can see that yeah, the root seeker says that your root access is properly installed on this device device in Phoenix x x683 android version 10 so yeah i have root uh, installed here i can also show you my magic manager as well um, here's the magic manager yeah this uh, here you can see my root access taken i have advanced youtube manager for uh, root i okay so yeah so i already have root but i am going to show you the process for uh, rooting your device so for rooting your device you just need to make sure that your uh, build version is same and in the developer options you need to have the oem unlocking enabled bootloader is on like already unlocked exactly like this written and uh, usb debugging turned on after these two are turned on you can just move on uh, you can you just need another uh, pc uh, you, it can be a windows or linux environment but i am going to use ubuntu 20.4 lds uh, for this but you can use windows or any kind of linux or any windows version you like but the process is similar just some drivers and softwares are gonna be different so let's go on the pc and continue hello guys uh, okay so now we are on our pc um, as you can see i have ubuntu installed here uh, i guess if i can show you okay this is ubuntu running on cinnamon des desktop you can use any uh, linux or windows environment but i would suggest linux because linux is easier because of adb and fastboot being installed pre-installed so i'm gonna uh, link these two files uh, in the description so you need to download these two files and please make sure please i repeat please make sure that your device has virtual build version v332 and your bootloader is unlocked which is oem unlocked and your adb uh, usb debugging is turned on after that you need to just open a terminal so how do you open a terminal you just you can just use open in terminal or you can also just uh, go to your uh, menu and just uh, search for terminal t-e-r-m-e-n-l and open the terminal 
uh, this is the Ubuntu terminal that you can see here so I'm, uh, now you just need to uh, connect your device uh, in your Android phone so when you connect your device you are gonna get a pop-up on your Android device uh, which will uh, ask for allow USB debugging or not you need to uh, check allow if you don't uh, check this allow pop-up then this will not work so after checking that you need to write ADB devices devices okay and you can see that there is a device listed that that is my device your device should show here if it is not showing then you should know that uh, you are not uh, you did not check the uh, allow debugging option on your phone so disconnect the phone and connect again and check uh, run this command again adb device adb device and it's gonna show then after it is shown here like this device you need to write adb reboot bootloader then you're gonna write enter so after typing enter you are going to see that your phone restarts and goes into fast boot mode so uh, i did not enter this command because uh, i already have my phone uh, rooted so i'll i'm not going to root it but i'm going to show you the commands so after running adb devices you need to run the command adb reboot reboot bootloader bootloader so this will loop, reboot your phone into bootloader or fast boot mode so after you can you see that your device is restarted and fast boot mode is written on your screen then you need to write the command fast boot devices fast boot devices then uh, after you type the command fast boot devices your device is going to be listed below my device is not listed below because i am recording with my device so i did not re reboot my device for now i am just showing you the commands so after the device is listed here then you need to write the command you need to make sure that uh, your fast boot after typing this command after typing this command a line like this will appear here after this uh, on the, here this line uh, this type of line will appear so you need to make sure that this line appears and after this line appears you need to put this command fast boot fast boot dash dash disable disable verity v-e-r-i-t-y uh, -E -E verity space dash dash disable dash verification very okay i guess you guys cannot see it i am going to just enlarge my screen for now okay fast boot uh, disable verity disable verification then space then then flash vb meta space okay i'm just going to make the screen a bit bigger so that you can see it here yeah okay all right so we have written fast boot disable dash dash disable dash purity dash space dash dash disable dot verification space flash vv meta space then we are going to see this vv meta image we are going to tap on it and we are going to drag and drop it here okay so you can see that then you are going to click on enter and after clicking after you click enter you are going to see that uh, a successful message will appear of three or four lines uh, and then after that successful live uh, line has appeared what you need to do is uh, paste the next command i am not in pressing enter because i am recording with my phone if i do that my phone will reboot so i'll just i'm gonna then now you need to type the second command which is fast boot fast boot slash boot space now you need to uh, now you need to go uh, tap on the magic uh, that file that patched file that i given you this file should only work for build version v332 i repeat i am telling you again this will only work for magic uh, build version v332 if your build version is not built v332 you can just ask for me another tutorial i'll just give you another tutorial for how to make your firmware v332 so after having this file you need to just drag and drop it here okay and after you drag and drop it here you need to click on enter you, you can you just need to double check the command fast boot flash boot then that file 
so that magic file and then you need to click on enter after you click on enter you're gonna see another success message and after that success message is gone uh, is done you need to write again fast boot reboot and then you can you, you enter it and you're gonna see that your uh, your phone is going to reboot now you can unplug your phone from your uh, pc and your phone is going to be successfully rooted so um, thanks for watching and please know that if you face any kind of issue or if you are uh, afraid of doing it or anything just uh, message me i have given you my whatsapp and facebook uh, details uh, below on the video description just give me a message i'm going to help you out totally for free and the files are listed below thanks a lot for helping out and also if you face any kind of boot loops or anything i'll also link the firmware for recovering from a boot loop and yeah thanks for watching